the dirge of the sea children by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon the mourners this for the sea child all the open seas for grave a square of canvas iron bars to help him down and let the hissing spray speeding the dying day chant the wild death song with the wet sea breeze down from the woe and the wars of the feverish world of men into the cool arms of the old sea mother could another soothe you as she does when lost in the meshes of her streaming hair you hear her croon that magic melody of grief too strong to bear sobbing along the beaches endlessly her weird dusk dirge till the gray ocean and the gray sky merge and all is dark hark the poignant wailing of eternal pain the surf grief 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 in vain we sigh the sadness of the rolling years and cry the madness of the brooding fears grief 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 the chain of time runs out and dims in formless black obscurity a night without a star strown with the dim tide rack of derelict dreams far far is it a light that gleams over the waste sea track grief 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 behold the tongueless sorrow that pale light reveals the songless morrow that wan cycle wheels in from the gloom of time grief 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 the gold the lavish day star squanders fades to brass see how he wanders like a pallid mime over the shoaling ocean's sodden swell where never keel shall pass nor skilled tongue tell the romance and the glory and the rhyme the mystery of silent sea or the grand frenzy of the storm wind's wrath here is the mighty epic's aftermath salt barrens and a night without a star strown with the dim tide rack of derelict dreams far far see how the last light gleams over the waste sea track the mourners sobbing the song breaks here the ripples lap the shifting changeless sands see how they wrap their light foam fingers round the clumps of weed stroking with fairy hands the floatsome that the restless breakers breed casting upon the beach to rest a while till the flood tide draws them once more to her capacious breast plays with them here and there to trick beguile her world-long road's unrest then spurns aside restless o oh mother as your children's hearts that flit like fading ghosts in a dim wraith dance up and down the world blown like the stinging spindrift onward hurled from foolies battered coasts south where the heat haze parts its veil of fantasy gemming the sleepy waves with magic isles of scented sorcery west on a headlong 
straining sunset chase clear to the furnace doors of orient turn o ye wander slaves ere strength be spent think ye to find a respite from the race no rest no rest we die yet still our corpses strew the foam-ringed strands and still the sea demands her children hear her sigh the open sea children o oh children who have felt my kiss have known my love my tenderness my soft caress and the exultant bliss of my great strength that sweeps around the earth i i who knew your birth as i shall know your death croon you a magic slumber song a breath snatched from the cool green grottoes in my deeps where sleeps the peaceful gathering of weary dead swung in the strong arms of my cradling tides softer by far than graveyard's mouldy bed that earth provides children o oh, children who have known my smile my merriment my treachery my guile and cruelty my cold brutality and worse than all my bitter biting scorn of man and all his darings and his deeds come all ye children ye that know where leads the path ye go and yet have sworn your love for me on many a lonely tryst and my cold lips have kissed with your hot young ones soft and fresh and red o oh, all ye dead ye brave and nameless dead the path is free i i the mother lover slayer call my children all i i the sea the surf grief 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 our tears we sow in spume along the barren shore we know the doom the darkling ages pour o'er the still struggling world grief 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 what leers smirking and mouthing in the creeping dark with sneering lip upcurled back back o oh fiend for stark lies the white salt waste stretching on afar to horror of a night without a star whence come these drifting dreams far far is there a light that gleams over the waste sea track end of poem this recording is in the public domain Silenus by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon They say Silenus danced once on a cliff That dropped a hundred even fathoms sheer To black-toothed reefs, The toppled battlements raised by earth titans When the world was young and new lands braved the sea i on the verge the leering wood god strayed in merry maze from fevered bacchanalia loosed his limbs in a wild clumsy choral prancing 
till his inky shadow mocked the silver moon and shocked the somber dignity of night and now when seas of time have drowned the torch that flaunted flaming mane at bucket feasts silenus leaps in motley here a patch torn from a pale priest's robe and there a rag of silk or satin from a lady's gown for he is mad with stronger drink than wine and he is mad with baser flame than lust and from the rim of time wild drunk with life flings empty flagons at the infinite end of poem this recording is in the public domain the apostate by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon toward a goal of fading mist i have plodded desolate i the bloody rod have kissed and have borne a brother's hate and the shame of low estate i have prayed ye did not list if ye had but stooped to clear from the doubting minds of men but a weft of clinging fear i would not have stumbled then to my father's gods again but i prayed ye did not hear i am but an atom caught in your long infinity have ye then of comfort aught in your cold divinity or your silent trinity i have prayed ye answered not End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. There's likewise a wind on the heath by Kenneth Rand. Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. O oh, gypsy, what is the worth of life? and why do ye sing all day when there's work to do in the fertile fields a reek with new-mown hay i sing in faith of the skies above and the world that spreads beneath there's a road that runs to the ends of earth and a wind on the open heath o oh, gypsy what will ye leave the world or ever ye come to die i'll leave the sun and the lover's moon the gift of an empty sky a lightsome heart and a roving foot but the best that i may bequeath is a road that runs to the ends of earth and a wind on the open heath End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Garden Wall by Kenneth Rand. Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. The Mother. Look ye, O children, the rose is blown gay is our garden now for the sun is trailing his robes of gold warm and scented and fold on fold like a spendthrift monarch has reckless thrown his cloak o'er a blossoming bough and the little winds that fall so warily over the wall whisper o oh, rest ye now to our failing minstrelsy o oh, to be free young 
and free, and sleep in the shade of the wall. The children, if ye climbed by the twisted oak that grows in the garden there, there's a limb that ye all may grip, if ye dare the risk of a slip, and the toll of a tattered cloak, and a snarl of twigs in your hair. Ye may win, if ye do not fall, to the top of the garden wall. Over, oh, over the garden wall, out to the beckoning road, looping away where the mountains call, stooping to play where the valleys fall, down to the shore of a sunlit sea, flashes the beckoning road. Oh, to be free, old and free, and follow the beckoning road. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Tuscan Dawn Song by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Who is it sings by the Florentine gate, And the soft night pales to the morrow? Patient art thou, O lover, To wait thy beloved so long at the Florentine gate. Ah, red flower of heart's sorrow, I hark to thy mandolin's lilting, See the white road stretch to the dawning, While yester-eve's roses are wilting To the tune of thy mandolin's lilting, And the breezes blow the morning. See where the highway dips to the vale, Heart, O oh, the dawn, but life is sweet, and the shadows flicker and faint and fail, where the magical highway dips to the vale, and the whole world waits at our feet. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To You in Romany by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Oh, will you never understand the reason that I love the magic roads of Romany your little feet have trod? The camp upon the hill brow, where in the loneliness with God you see the sleepy earth below, the luring stars above? And may I never tell you of the haunting, of the dream, of sky and sun and wander wind, and the sails upon a sea as blue, well, as your eyes, my love? For can there really be in all the waiting wondrous world, a truer, bluer gleam. I may not seek and be in hope that I shall ever find my black-haired, blue-eyed, gypsy maid, and yet I ever dare to quest along the highway till the world is left behind and then to follow farther where the kindling planets flare. Follow farther, follow farther, though the dawning lights remind, there is but a lost dream, Romany, and you, my love, are there. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Aus Wanderer by Kenneth Rand 
Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. Oh, the land is dead, and your souls are dead, dead with the burden of toil and tax, cramped and stunted and shriveled and sear, and the lash of the law is hard on your backs and the endless toil will never relax while the lungs draw breath and the blood runs red eat for the strength to toil again toil for the life is ever dear though the spirit starve on the meagre bread though ye live like bullocks and not like men for the law is the law though it be of steel hammered and forged for the groaning earth not to be loosed and scarce to be born pity the land that gave ye birth but what do ye think the land is worth in the question of human woe or weal flee ere ye rot in your father's jives up and away in the eye of the morn with a favoring wind and a hurrying keel flee only thus may ye live your lives o westward follow the beckoning sun prairie and forest and lake and sea there at the end your goal shall be hemmed by no cramping boundary but wide as the floor of the limitless deep and free as the winds of the open sky from the rolling slopes where the fleecy sheep with their sunburnt herdsmen wander by to the sheltered ranch in the mountain's lee freedom to live and freedom to die freedom to sow freedom to reap and freedom to rest when the work is done when the blood is chill and the race is run End of poem this recording is in the public domain. The Suicide by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Friends, who have loved me well and known me ill, who called me joyous only yesterday, you know how dear it was to me to stray free-footed restless drawn by every hill that promised heaven beyond till heart and will swept with the winds a million worlds away yet earth has never child she may not slay nor see a lover that she cannot kill the road is calling and i may not wait the breeze that fans the stars shall be for guide good friends tis never time for tears when wide swing the kind portals of the eon gate and should men name me dead i beg ye say nay he but wearied here and went away End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Debt of the Gods by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon If so, you never have known joy of a god, never afar and alone pinnacles trod battle of failure or love summits of gaining and giving 
Lo, the high heavens above, O ye for living. If so, you never have won bliss of a night, night of a victory done, dream or delight, climax of love or of strife, rapture of gaining and giving. Look ye, the masters of life, O ye for living. If so, ye never have leaped, stung by the fire. If so, ye never have steeped, soul in desire, suffered and won by a breath struggle of gaining and giving. Masters of life and of death, O ye for living. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Red Romance by Kenneth Rand. Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. There's a laugh and a curse on the dim lit keys. Ah, liquor and love and a waiting wave there's a muffled cry on the languid breeze where the tide rip sets to the silent seas ah liquor and love and a waiting wave what is it swings by the harbor's rim and all in the name of the red romance what is it bobs through the shadows dim? With a knife in the back can a dead man swim? And all in the name of the red romance. Oh, it's down to Jones with the bones of the drowned. Flotsam rides on a following sea, Where the rolling waves sweep the wide world round. And the trade wind shrieks to the outward bound. Flotsam rides on a following sea. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Old Highway by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. There once was a road down the valley, dropping away to the seas, when the pine woods crept to the edge of the dust that powdered the friendly trees, when the pillared forest alley shook to the spring wind's gust, and a gay stream fell like a tattered veil. Shreds of foam lace, delicate, frail, torn by the restless breeze. There once was a road down the valley, Ere the sun was shorn of its rays, To gleam like a specter's wraith-wrought shield, Through the dusk of the chimney's haze, ere the slaves of task and tally orderly bloodless steeled changed the rattle of galloping feet for the treadmill trudge of an engine's beat and the hearth for the foundry blaze there once was a road down the valley and still as the old moons wane and the steel rails stretch to the mist-draped morn like a glittering fairy lane ye may feel the dead years rally to mock at the years unborn a whinny a laugh from a wayside inn the clink of a bit and the hoof beats din, the brush of a wind blown mane. End of poem. 
This recording is in the public domain. Paganism by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon A convent, long and low and gray and still, Hedging the open road with quiet wall, Above a luring hill and then a call, some sunburnt stroller's song. Oh, the sun is gold, and the sky is blue, And blood is warm, and hearts are true, And the world is just for me and you, And love to walk about in. Ah, singer, you who cry the joy of spring, To ears that hear you through the litany. Quick, while the dream lips cling, Is piety or the blind love more strong? Beloved, the gold of swift today Is snatched by yesterday away. O oh, seize and spend it while you may, Tis a gay world to be out in. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Thalassia by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon A vision of some moonlit night at sea When ships are shod with silver and the waves soft-footed tread their endless corals through to a low-tuned aeolian melody was it a dream or did the eye see true fair scattered tresses flung upon the breast of cradling rollers sobbing burden slaves of floatsome from the islands of the blest a maiden very fair and very young with eyes that matched the sapphire of the seas full robed in death's eternal chastity in vain the foam went wantoning among the silken woven golden fantasy of hair that dared the white flood of the moon and brought the son of lost hesperides to shame diana's silvered plenilune she seemed to slumber on the tender arm of monstrous titan mother creature wrought in the dim cosmic dawn of chaos clay that could not save and yet that would not harm and weeping stooped unwillingly to slay that might not choose or know the right or wrong but only love the child the waves had brought and steal the wind's harp for a cradle song once came the endless wailing. Lo, the sea rang with the sorrow of the dirge that rolled as though the wild, wet lips of all the world poured out the anguish of eternity. Ah, mortals, when the reeling ships are hurled back to the womb of life at fate's behest, why fear when i am here to guard and hold i who of mothers am the first and best end of poem this recording is in the public domain the witch of memory by kenneth rand 
Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. Fresh spells, new spells, true spells today. A charm to keep the frost away that makes the rose time never die. Come by a bit of sun and a summer breeze, of love and life and leafy trees, one zephyr's sigh. Fresh spells, new spells, true spells today. A bit of magic from the May, a snatch of song where swallows fly. Come by a spring day when the pulses leap and all the southern breezes sweep the sapphire sky fresh spells new spells true spells today that point the road to yesterday that start the teardrop in the eye come by a ghost of long forgotten love the trist the silver moon above the last goodbye end of poem this recording is in the public domain the pretender by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon Grim blue guns that rattled and jolted, Dim in the dusk of the morning, Bandaged heads and the curling lips That told of a victory won, Clink of the sabers and click of the hooves, And the leader's stumbling warning, And bent o'er the horn of his saddle, a stripling with hair like a shred of the sun. O oh, ye masters of battle, that ravage the hearts of the slumbering valleys, ravage ye also the bloom of the garden of life and the blossom of youth? Lo, for the price of a throne ye are selling a spirit to slave in the galleys ask ye the child who is slave of the throne mayhap he will tell ye the truth not for the crowns of a thousand kings not for a nation's pillage not for the glory of ermine robes nor fame for the bards to sing never for these would I barter a day of my dream in the old home village. Youth that I lost when the scarred old veterans shouted and hailed me king. Kingsmen, and ye would hold my throne. Yours it would be for the willing. Ah, but I bowed to a grim gray wolf. I who am a lord of my realm and the serpent nests on the dais steps and the word goes out for the killing soldiers your king bids ye each be brave and wear his plume in your helm you do you lust for my blood as they say or live with a secret sorrow. You, who are younger, in sooth, than I, I, who am old as the world, old as the world, and dead as the world, and drearer as the trudging morrow, bringing its burden of one more day, and one more banner unfurled grim blue guns that rattled and jolted up to the rim of the morning grim gray troopers that softly swore and dashed the sweat from their eyes 
lo from the head of the column there rippled the wave of a whispered warning and the stripling strove to scowl like a king as the sun looked over the rise end of poem this recording is in the public domain a lyric from the spring epic by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon there's never song in all the world to charm the heart o oh me like song of spindrift tempest hurled across a barren sea there's never tune in all the earth with half the swing shouting mirth of the old song the bold song of sun and empty sea there's never joy in all the days that sweep the seasons by to pass the lure of winding ways of wind and summer sky there's never bliss can match the thrill of dawn light on a crested hill and the gray road the gay road beneath a summer sky ah love and can the sum of all the earth and sky and sea the april lure the summer call the autumn sorcery outweigh the wealth of pagan gold thy tangled truant tresses hold when the glad wind the mad wind has lent its sorcery end of poem this recording is in the public domain lovers dawn by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon the earth and sky have a song as old as themselves and you and i for one brief moment while the dawn torch flings its pagan tresses wild for cirrus elves to sport among find wings that lift us to the hearing of their voices ringing in cadenced chorals over trackless seas hark how the wind rejoices singing the love notes of long lost hesperides the earth and the sky have a song that is ever new but you and i have found a wild and haunting melody of long unrest of roses and of rue till all infinity fills with the perfume of dear joy and sorrow sweet tears and laughter of a phantom yesterday what promises the morrow feet wander paths that meet a million worlds away end of poem this recording is in the public domain the sea tramp by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon oh the skies are dim and dreary and the days are dull and weary if you hark you'll hear the eerie wailing of the autumn gale and there's in my heart a sadness mounting almost to a madness when the ebbing harbor tide rip tells 
its old familiar tale then i hear the sea wind singing and the warning fog bell ringing and a whisper comes a bringing just a dream of southern sun till my painted picture islands lift their foamy footed highlands and i find the trail of rapture ever new and never done so i huddle down a dozing while the dying coals are posing as the bloody sunset closing in the furnace of the west then the moon a ruddy wonder breaks the velvet night asunder and the four-foot springs a flaming o'er the highway of unrest then old faces come to meet me and old places seem to greet me and old enemies to beat me in the fight for gold or fame till my whole mad youth is standing on the hearth rug there demanding that i give account for wasting it in folly and in shame though ye be no kin o brother dearer are ye than another blooded by the world old mother to the ocean sorcery though old bones may never bear it yet old hearts will ever dare it look the harbor lights are dimming let's beat to open sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain the crows by kenneth rand read for LibriVox.org by stefan von blon out from the gloom of the mountain gorges dark in the glow of the dawn see how they scurry like shadow rack each in his funeral cloak of black faint and fade and are gone dancing away down the ribbed ravines chattering ghouls astride the breeze haste o beloved thy weary feet out where the desert and skyland meet merging in mirage seas beloved the way was all too long see how they settle around let the heat fogs flickering fancy veil cover thy death when the spent limbs fail droop to the sun-baked ground up through the gloom of the mountain gorges red in the glare of the sun see how they swing in a serried line wheel and hover and weave and twine when the bright day is done end of poem this recording is in the public domain ona of the western wind by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon black was the night and wild and the wet lips of the wind planted fierce kisses racing the cloud rack piled sky seeking crags while behind raved the mad blisses tempest taught sea children know wrung from the wrath of the west tortured wave devils below heard its behest dashing on high they clothed reef tattered headlands in white 
as for a bridal crashing the waves betrothed sea foam to cloud trailing night while rang the tidal anthem of thunder and fear torn from the reeds of the gale plunging the surf stallion's rear lashed by the hail wet were thy cheeks thy hair salt with the sting of the spray gay with the peril wilder more fearfully fair than the cold birth of the day paling in barrel mad with the passion and wine poured from the caverns of space sudden i glimpsed the divine joy of thy face born of the wild west wind savage yet wise as the sea kin to its rages sure hast thou suffered and sinned loved and rebelled to be free daring the ages lo and the night of my heart flashed to a splendor of flame hotly i sundered apart shadows of shame wraith maiden wast thou or sprite blown from the isles of the ghosts storm fools derision spun from the mist and the night fools dim ice-battered coasts wafted in vision lo for the hands that i grasp lo for the lips that i pressed mocked me and fled and i clasp winds of the west end of poem this recording is in the public domain epitaph by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon what wealth was mine o lord i wept at leaving as miser weeps who has too freely spent and the faith and the fear of death were lost in grieving and restless discontent i watched the sun its last course run and died still weeping at its red descent the gold that melted mid its fading blazes was all the wealth my poverty could keep the wind that whirled the leaves in idle mazes my barren lands may reap and yet i deem my wealth of dream far dearer than the gold i held so cheap mine heirs i leave you sun and scented breezes and my great mansion of the open sky fee simple right to roam where free heart pleases where'er the path may lie no words of doom carve on my tomb but just he loved the world and grieved to die end of poem this recording is in the public domain harbor bound by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon old ships that drowse at anchor empty hold whose keels 
have known the wash of many seas and borne full many burdens argosies that foreign winds and foreign waves have lulled to restless slumber on the restless deep that now in sheltered harbor corners sleep the silent sleep of spent slaves burden dulled old ships that sleep old men that sit a dreaming in the sun whose lives have known the sting of many pains the sting of pleasures too mayhap whose brains have wrought what wonders ere their day was done forgotten heroes of a feeling dream placid they sit or do they only seem careless of ancient treasures lost or won old men that dream end of poem this recording is in the public domain romance by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon somewhere a sapphire ocean laves the shores of garish islands where the beach's sand is all fine sifted gold dust and the land swells like a dryad's bosom to the doors of lofty brass-domed palaces burned red beneath the tropic sunlight's liquid pall girt round with groves of wonder blossoms tall where all the world but love and war is dead and love is languishing in dungeon dark and war is raging round the palace towers and wreathed with gay hibiscus death lies stark half hid in coppices of passion flowers and failure laughs in rags while morning bell is sounding crowned success's solemn knell end of poem this recording is in the public domain the prodigal by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon i sat alone amidst the wreck of life its fading splendors still lingered failing poor pallid ghosts of love and joy and strife such phantoms as a fevered brain engenders that loiters quailing on the dim brink of long oblivion and clings to humble simple things as roses ruddy sunsets songs of birds and fears to sink back to the mother earth that bore it then e'en while i pondered deep on prosy words vain words like dear beloved i or god one knocked and knocked again on the worn portals of my senses fairy shod a being entered nor more beautiful on earth the wheeling years have ever seen and whispered i am pleasure dost still know how good 
a servant I have proved to thee. How dutiful! What gay pretenses! Bright masks of bliss for thy dull poverty. Thou owest me all that thy brain or heart or soul have been. They owe to me, to pleasure, king of all the world. But I was bitter with an ancient wrong, in that I e'er had lived and laughed and sung, for I was passion hurled from sun gilt crust of life's high pinnacle down to the depths where rang the mocking song that Satan, sombre drunk, sad cynical, trolled in the days when all the world was young. I too was young once, or I think so. See how the years slip like coins from open hands. How old am I? A day? Infinity? What matters it? Too old in life to live, and far too young in years to die. Ah, pleasure! How may I pay the debt I owe, or give full, full redemption? Though gold of all time were mine, the endless treasure of endless years, heaped in a mass to fill the heaven span, it scarce could buy one small, gay, lilting laugh caught in a snare of dawn and dream and dew. Ah, pains and griefs and fears, man's dread familiars all, since life began. Ye are but sordid chaff of blight-rid garnerings. The true soul of the harvest lingers, mocking, hidden under the symbol of a lilting laugh. So, slave unbidden, so faithful, kindly, joyous, dutiful, pleasure of form so beautiful, light-limbed, bright-tressed, soft clad in silk and gold. Come you to mock? Bah! Get you gone again. My hearth is deep with ashes, dead and cold. And so you go. Well, then, adieu. I watch you leave without regret. Ah, God, and yet, stay, stay, once more, ah, just once more, renew that old dear laughing joy of dawn and dew. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Thorn Garden by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Youth and love once chanced to part in the garden of my heart. Later on we'll meet again neath the bramble hedge of pain. Thus spoke love than braggart youth, rather neath the rose of truth. When the cycles slow revolving, all our hopes and fears dissolving, wheeled around 
the trysting hour where was love and where was youth thorn of pain or rose of truth hark ye travel stained and dour underneath the rose of pain youth awaited love again while beneath the thorn of truth jaded love was seeking youth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the flower peddler by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon with the columbine and the eglantine for new love and for folly now by my rood i'll suit thy mood so be it grave or jolly so be it sad or bad or glad i have the flower to please thee the red red rose when love light glows and cupid's witchings seize thee or underwood for maidenhood and purest love i borrow the violet shy but should love die i've myrtle for thy sorrow i've a bunch of vine and some columbine for wine and youth and folly but the flower for me and perhaps for thee is the rue for melancholy End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Morning Song on the Open Road by Kenneth Rand. Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. Awake, O oh beloved, the dawn torch is burning the lark o'er the meadow his matinal sings the darts of the sun-god the mountains are turning from emperor's purple to crimson of kings the road is before us the hills call to follow to beckoning distances luring away to-day is to-day and to-morrow to-morrow ah quick ere they die to a dim yesterday awake o oh beloved the moments are hasting the summits are blazing with ruddy raw gold and wanderlust ridden the spirit is questing beyond the dim hills where the valleys unfold o oh, art thou a gypsy then haste to the roving and waste not in sleeping the gifts of the sun but out on thy journey be joyfully moving that never is ended yet ever begun awake o oh, beloved thy red lips are smiling o oh, pleasant the dreams that thy slumber eyes see yet fairer the visions that ever beguiling call over the ranges of far romany ah love must i waken thee ever with kisses my love with the dawn splendor hid in her eyes ah thou and the road are the dearest of blisses that gild our old world with immortal surprise end of poem this recording is in the public domain
The Life Prisoner by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Men with the flush of the wind in your faces, Glint of the dawn in the depths of your eyes. Send me a thought from the desolate places, Windy spaces of paradise, I shall never see new stars rise. Just one breeze from my palm-fringed islands, Trailed like pearls on a dreaming sea. One lone gust from my storm-racked highlands, one lone cataract flashing free. Master of mercies, O oh, pity me. God, how I prayed on my knees for hanging, death for death. Not a man wrought hell, answered the leg bars mocking clanging. Lo, while you live, Hear me clank your knell. Pray to the stones of your cell. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Night by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Across the world I followed you, O oh love, And found you weaving chaplets for your hair. I called the mighty dome of heaven above To witness you were fairest of the fair. I cast the wealth of princes at your feet And spurned it, since you scorned to call it sweet. Sword of a king, Or clash of bannered host, Ah, love, They were but pawns I flung in play, Pawns that I laughing won And laughing lost, Or if it pleased you, Laughing cast away, Yet, should the tumult stir a single bud of your rose reef, I drenched the world in blood. Ah, empress of my shadow-bordered realm, who weaves a reef of roses and of rue, behold, the flaunting pride plume of my helm is at your feet, in dust laid low for you. Ah, gods, there live none glorious as I, who win one rose to cherish as I die. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Straw Death by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon I, who have lived my life, my years of hot blood roving in the sun, now that my course is run, is it for me to die, hemmed from the sapphire sky, scene of my joy and strife, die here, where the pale chilling blood can just stain my wan lips, as the soul slips into the darkness, shall I die in bed, lost in the shadows of a dimming room, unutterably sordid? Give me dust sweeping across the barrens, 
choking down the feeble death gasp till the red stars reel in a weird dirge dance round my sinking head rather than see through gloom the spectre pallid nurse in white and gray the ice nerved doctor with his black browed frown stealthily steal to fend the last light of the dying day with close-drawn blinds from my light thirsty eyes ye sunset skies i used to know your splendor let me die like any dog but let it be away under the open sky give me to die like a beast afar alone with but the hawk and crow to watch beside me while i cast my soul and but the sky to know what my racked lips have uttered what last groan or curse or prayer i breathed to heaven above and this the whole boon that i ask of you to split in twain with your wild night winds for the ancient love i bore you o ye sunset flames the smother that rides like some dire curse upon my chest and let me feel again the blessed western breeze my restless brother on many an endless road that knew me best of all the winds that sweep around the world give me to drown in the dark where tempest hurled the black ship wavers down through soundless sea give me to die in a good fight foul or fair with but a heart to stab a throat to clutch and once again to see that gay red haze of madness veil my sight to feel the hot breath and the blood stiff hair i ask too much i am a beast they say then let me die by all the gods just as a beast should die out in the flaming sunset far away under the open sky end of poem this recording is in the public domain sympathy by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon my neighbor crabbed and mean and old as death runs in in mad despair come quick he cries my house is blazing all the things i prize the greedy flame devours why lose your breath i calmly answer tis no lasting harm the day is chill the fire is nice and warm my love and i fall out we have some talk right on the public path it seems to me i ne'er have suffered such catastrophe just then why neighbor and does cupid balk my dears young blood is warm you know in truth to see you quarrel gives me back my youth end of poem this recording is in the public domain rouge noir by kenneth rand read for librivox.org
by Stefan von Blon. Red or black, the Louis, spinning, crossed the table's speckled bays. Fine, O oh luck, to pick the winning color from the checkered maze. Ah, mon cher, take care in choosing. True love counsels play the red. Red it is, the game's amusing. Faites vous jeu, the croupier said. O oh, auburn her hair, and as warm as summer. Rouge, not much, was an omen gay. And eyes as bold as the raw red gold. So what was there more to say, to say? I, what was there more to say? Red or black, mon cher, be heeding. Black has won, twill win again. Hark to true love's humble pleading. Play the red and play in vain. Black will win far more than treasure. Black it is, we'll soon be dead. Louis were meant to purchase pleasure. Fête vous jeu, the croupier said. O oh, raven her hair as the mane of midnight. Lips that swore they would e'er be true. And a pair of eyes out of paradise. So what was there else to do? to do. I, what was there else to do? L'envoi. Gay the game, t'was worth the plain. Louis, loves, have fleetly fled. What's to Louis? Easy paying. Vien va bleu, the croupier said. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Corpse Fire by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Subtropical Where there's a light, do ye know the blaze? and the stark grim shapes around, where the smoke wraiths weave on a wind-wrought loom, a shroud for the reeking ground. Close, too close, we da joined the wrecks and the dead on the houseless sand, but the failing glare of the last grim hearth warned us away from the land. Where there's a light on the weed-flung beach. Off, beat off, swing wide. For the ghost glow flares on the breakers' crests in the gay surf-wash overside. Off, beat off, yeave the plague to praise. And the beacon of dead man's light. I thank your gods that they burned a corpse from the cholera camp this night, where there's a light on the foam-ringed beach. Out, swing out to the sea, and thank your gods for the onshore wind that keeps ye fever-free. The wind that sweeps from the ocean waste, Cold and honest and clean, And swirls the sand on the ghost-rid dunes, Where the bare-picked wrecks careen. 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Visions by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon In the street, afternoon A face, chance met With eyes lash-curtained And perchance a smile Or say, a tear A glimpse of satin shimmer or the while of silken curled coquette or here stumping and stooped an empress with a crown as thorned as jesus wore some poor unholy mary burdened down with such a weight of stark inhuman sorrow that all the gold of Maggie sung to-morrow, heaping forevermore, could scarcely drown it. Then comes youth and wine and laughter, and look behind that crippled pencil peddler. See, between him and the haggard Magdalene, serene, refined, with fresh-faced, solemn children trilling after, in prosy pomp, respectability, on the road, evening, a road, looping and twinning to the heaven rim, a barren field, tear sown by winds and birds and dim gray shadows trembling tenderly along the mighty loins of distant mountain ranks the high abode of dream divinities of moon and dew while lone and far and clear as some queer elfin song a cowbell clanks then through the dusk wrought romance of the even tide breaks with a shock the world for there beside the magic road some vagrant ne'er do well kindles a fire to cook his evening meal End of poem this recording is in the public domain. Apostasy by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon And are the old gods dead, their altars bare, The flowers strewn by loving hands of old, are they all withered? Ay, indeed. The mold lies thick on fallen idols, And the air that once was scented with the spice of Ind Now knows no censer but the flying wind That wafts the breath of humble flowers there, For they have sinned so send they then those wicked gods of yore say how they send that i may understand in that they ruled unwisely nay the land did prosper but they taught forbidden lore let eros wander wild nor did rescind the wanton laws of youth undisciplined and when joy knocked through wide the temple door twas thus they sinned and this was sinning ay or so they say ah then 
beneath my vine and tamarind leave me to worship them and go thy way thus have i sinned end of poem this recording is in the public domain the wonderful world by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon oh truly the world is a wonderful place sang the poet at dawn for the sun's at my back and the wind's in my face and i'm off to the west at a merry good pace when i'm gone just give him my blessing and tell him from me i'll bring back a fortune from over the sea sang the poet at dawn oh truly the world is a horrible thing cried the poet in pain it's made me a slave when i should have been king i've worked with my hands when i wanted to sing and the gain that i won by the sweat of my brow is so small you scarcely could call it a fortune at all cried the poet in pain and here i am home with the sun at my back quoth the poet at eve it's little i have and it's much that i lack i'll turn me around and go back on my track i believe that it's gold that i see in the sunset's face oh truly the world is a wonderful place sang the poet at eve end of poem this recording is in the public domain. The Ballad of the Gypsy King by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon T'was over the stones of an ancient road That slashes the distant east a ragged beggar came footing it in where the monarch sat at feast his hair was black his face was brown his eyes like witches lights and hot they shone on the ladies fair and boldly on the knights and who may ye be cried the king in wrath that dare to burst on me in this lowly guise when i sit at feast mid vassals of high degree and who may ye be who think the eye of a beggar is fit to stare at the noblest maids of the royal court the fairest of all the fair now the ragged white smiled a crooked smile and his voice was far from low oh i am a prince a romany who dare to speak you so i come as king to a brother king to ask for roof and meat and there's never a maid of all this court that's fit to kiss my feet for i am the monarch of more than land as well in your heart you sense ah son of the race of a thousand kings be finished with this pretense by the brand you bear on your brawny arm that you hide with a silken sleeve I name you the son of a shameful birth. Do you dare to disbelieve? I name you the son of a shiftless drab 
in my father's gypsy camp. Come, part the silk, let the people see, by the light of your banquet lamp, the gypsy mark on the strong sword arm of this son of a thousand kings, who owes his life to a shameless churl on some nameless wanderings. Now the king has paled to a sickly gray, and in woeful mood he sits, for never he ruled by lofty birth, but eke by chance and wits. Ay, his throne he had won by steel and luck, that he held by steel and might. Yet never he thought to know the need to prove his heritage right. And now, as he reached for his trusty blade, and cast his mantle back, on the swelling skin of his knotted arm a scar stood, grim and black, as though twere made by two twisted twigs crossed in some children's play. Loud laughed the white, tis the patheran, a gypsy has been this way. Oh, clanking down to the marble floor, fell the blade from the royal hand. Ah, gods, cried the king, do I dream or wake? Ye white, do ye understand the arts of the devil, or are ye he? who has set this spell on me, to see my life as an opened scroll by strength of your sorcery. For I seem to see my forgotten youth with all of its good and ill. There's a white road ribbon runs beckoning down from the crest of a breaking hill. And over the hill lies power and fame, And the sun has stained it red. But lo, at the summit its hot rim gilds A crown for my daring head, And it's over the hill to the brink of doom I feel my footsteps swing. Ye may not jest with the gypsy blood, so be ye slave or king. You have witched me out of my crown and throne. Did you ask for roof and meat? I give you my palace and fertile fields. Go take what you need to eat. For now I am off to the end of the world, with only the wind for guide. Small price to pay on the houseless way, I'll saddle no steed of pride. So keep ye well, long live the king, and light be the scepter's load. Yet, if so I know the breed, we'll meet a little along the road. End of Poem this recording is in the public domain. A Portrait by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Born with a mask of insincerity, You feigned the virtues all the world esteemed, to you the nude and graceful verity, purest of nymphs, a shameless wanton seemed. You stalked through life in buskins, brought the posing, the green room's makeup, to the work of men, and played your part so well, the last disclosing unmasked you but to see you mask again what you was underneath the world may guess 
but never prove yet whether great or small the mummer soul within men still confess you were the bravest actor of them all and write for epitaph nor fame nor pelf he asked but merely not to be himself end of poem this recording is in the public domain the king and i by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon the king and i went forth to ride o oh, fair the lands of his domain he spurned a beggar lass aside who dared to touch his bridal rein i gave her a smile and a piece of gold she threw me a kiss the tale is told ah brother with the seeing eye which was the richer he or i end of poem this recording is in the public domain the roadside weeds by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon the vagabond speaks though the world were mine for the ploughing the sowing of wheat or of tare i'd spare the seeds of the vagrant weeds and fling them at random there and if they should wither tis justice yet if they should flourish tis fair for they are the yield of my favorite field in the garden of devil may care they are the gayest of friends on the highway though gray with the roadside dust and gay on the narrowing byway when the wheat field is sad with the rust you can follow their fallow land creeping wherever the road may run for they are the fruit of the reaping of the fields of the prodigal son and whose was the hand of their sowing go ask ye the wind in the trees go ask ye the breeze that is blowing a magic from over the seas south i will grip ye a sceptre north i will win ye a helm east and to west what your heart loves the best give ye the world for a realm i but the wealth of my harvest reap ye the weeds by the road or love ye to toil on a stubborner soil go get ye a master and goad nay i will keep to my vineyard mullen and bramble and tare for they are the yield of my favorite field in the garden of devil may care end of poem this recording is in the public domain Disillusion by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Seek me, she laughed, at the ends of earth. Seek for me over the edge of dawn. Are you so mighty of mind and brawn that you scorn to show a maid your worth? follow the lead of my madcap mirth to heaven portal or hades gate 
but tempt me not with the weary bait of prosy plenty or romance derf. I sought her far where the heavens flame like shimmering domes of molten brass, mid painted aisles where the weird moon swings in the palm tree's top like god's cuirass i found her beloved she cried in shame love lies not here but in common things end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Time Fools by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Youth Though the lavish moments squander All the precious gold of pleasure, Though the ravished senses wander Mid the cream of Ophir's treasure, Yet by all the gods above take the life but leave us love age though the maiden's soft caresses be as honey of hymettus though the chilly soul confesses eros flames at last forget us toil or ease or peace or strife take the love but leave us life end of poem this recording is in the public domain the huckster by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon by a bit of magic from the hills a dream visions of the night time never what they seem scraps of idle fancy threads of fairy gold by such mighty magic as was never sold by a bit of magic you who scorn to dream would you glimpse the future or the past redeem clear against the darkness cloudy in the sun by a skein a dream stuff all your hopes are won dreams of gold and glamoury far on southern seas love and strife and venturing fancies fantasies seize them o ye sleepers snatch them while ye may like a breath of heaven wind they have blown away by a pinch a romance stolen over sea where the palmy islands promise royally wealth of hidden treasure store of pirate gold draw your gory cutlass glut your galleys hold would you know the conquest the battle's ecstasy call your shadow armies and lead to victory yours to plunder o fear and yours the spoil of end hark the ghostly trumpet call braying down the wind by a royal diadem or a crown of thorn i have served your fathers long ere you were born i the long-tailed monkey dancing in the trees dreams like you of gardens of hesperides or it be a maiden fair whom you long to wed 
lo and by my sorcery the marriage words are said love and hope ambition lust all of them are thrall to the humble dreamsmith the master of them all by a bit of magic from the hills a dream visions of the night time never what they seem scraps of idle fancy threads of fairy gold by such mighty magic as was never sold end of poem this recording is in the public domain when the poet died by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon one night a sombre dun processional trailed drably through the crape hung avenues of my dark city of tremendous dream with hearsed and plumed terror till i wept begging the mouthing mourners lo what king is dead so greatly peace o fool they wailed knowest thou not this night a poet died then as the bier wheeled grimly by a vain black plumaged peacock proudly at the head of all the dour cortege methinks i heard a merry mocking satyr laugh within end of poem this recording is in the public domain in avalon by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon in avalon in avalon away beyond the circling rim of chaos sea there lilts a song of dream and glamour in avalon in avalon away ah scatter spring thy flowered fantasy for hero might have been is wed to princess yesterday in avalon in avalon away where you are queen o love and i am king what wreck we what the dim to-morrow bring in avalon in avalon away i envy not the gods their glory when hero might have been is wed to princess yesterday ah far and far in avalon away too far to fear the sting of sorrowing the hero might have been has won the princess yesterday end of poem this recording is in the public domain the song of the butterflies by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon lilts the music through its measure like the ripple of a dream trip the dancers through their pleasure till the dawning gleam time is old and we are young thus the song is sung love and life forever last pluck the blowing rose while the demon of the past ever greater grows 
withered blossoms, dying love, memory and pain. Howsoe'er the harvest prove, let us dance again. Drop the petals of the flowers, dims the fervor of the glance. Fly the fairy golden hours, handmaids of romance. Time is young and we are old, thus the tale is told. Loving, living, cannot last. Pluck the wilting rose, let the demon of the past as the present pose. Withered blossoms, dying love, memory and pain, howsoe'er the harvest prove, let us dance again. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Amicitia by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Oh, would I were happy as you, I cried, Who laugh all the live-long day, whom all of the years that i've lived beside i've never found aught but gay or other than faithful and cheery and kind thoughtful unselfish and wise tis surely a wonderful world you find through the gold of your laughing eyes ah friend who was nearest and dearest to me i knew you the least of all you gave me the wine so i should not see that you drank for yourself the gall end of poem this recording is in the public domain Love and a Life by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon The wheat and tares of life were ground to meal. So runs the ancient legend. And the gods fashioned a myriad cakes and baked them brown and crisp in passion's fire then spread them wide on the broad window ledge of earth to cool and lo the cakes were called the race of man the wheat meal virtue and the tear dust fault but safe the legend ere the grain was ground while yet the mill wheel labored came a fawn and mocked the busy gods and pelted flowers violets roses columbine and rue till some by chance were mingled with the grain and leavened all once grew the wondrous gift of power to see the splendor of the sky of power to feel the transport of the tear of power to fight with odds to lose to smile while losing at the sneers of all the world in brief the gift that makes us more than gods and flings light-hearted lives to jest with hell end of poem this recording is in the public domain the two of us by kenneth rand 
Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. I know a chap. Oh, he's no friend of mine. A cautious chap. Who keeps his wary eyes fast on the path he treads. Lest luring skies seduce his prosy brain. Or dawning shine with lavish splendor craftily entwine his senses so he walk in puddles now of course if asked he could and would tell how i through my gay star-gazing was it wine or merely poetry that mixed me trod all careless through the mire although i swore the glory of the sunset really bore me heedless of all else right up to god now he was clean and i was muddy shod which of the two of us deserved the more end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Song of the Old Gods by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Oh, follow the wind o'er the beckoning hill Where the boundless kingdoms lie Sons of the sun and sky Can ye hearken and yet be still? Can ye hear the mirth of the seas that swing to the ends of earth where the breezes bring a chant of the years when the world was young when the heart was true and the hot lip clung ay the flowers were red on the eden tree they're withered now on the eden tree and love ran wild in the spring oh follow the road where it leaps to meet and carry ye off and away strap ye the wings o day to your laggard and lowly feet shall ye stop your ears to the winds that sing when the dawn appears and its flaming wing sweeps through a wood where the heart o the sun hides in the rose when the day is done ay the flowers were red on the eden tree they're withered now on the eden tree and love runs wild in the spring end of poem this recording is in the public domain at the altar of youth and love by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stefan von blon so that the love lights burn i cried and brightly blaze not mine o oh love in foolish pride to stint my praise so long as youth and thou remain i praise no god except ye twain but years have wings the voices say and fleetly fly thy time is brief an hour a day and then to die altars are bare and deities are drunk or sleep or gone or seas nay not my gods i cry behold the sacred flame i show the altar rich in gold with loud acclaim alas e'en while i prayed the fire choked 
mid the ash of spent desire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Topsail Schooner by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon The Pirate Craft Speaks You fear no more to see my sails come sweeping up the seas, nor guard with pike and carronade your laden argosies. You never turn and run for it, when the lookout bellows now there's a low black topsail schooner just off the starboard bow you trudge the sea in sordidness and find a sordid grave collision ice or hurricane you'll die a burden slave and never know the ecstasy of a hot fight hand to hand, with a low black topsail schooner a hundred leagues from land. You'll never smell the powder, nor feel your hair roots rouse, when the long nine sends its warning across your questing bows, when the round shot splits the foremast, and your sturdy spirits fail as the low black topsail schooner pours men across your rail no more you'll rake the indies with clumsy ninety-fours and strand on hidden coral reefs off fever-ridden shores i showed your nimblest frigates the cleanest pair of heels the low black topsail schooner that never dawn reveals for now my snuggest harbor shall know me ne'er again and now my safest anchorage shall wait for me in vain a ghost ship manned by phantoms from morgan down to kid the topsail schooners left for i the islands where she hid you fear no more to see my sails come sweeping up the seas, nor guard with pike and carronade your laden argosies. You never turn and run for it when the lookout bellows now. There's a low black topsail schooner just off the starboard bow. End of poem this recording is in the public domain. La Tafajai by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon Because we do not hold your God as true, O iron-hearted galley slaves of gold, because we do not judge our worship due a scowling toil-wrought ball of metal cold because our hearts are young our sorrows few consider are we baser clay than you because we love to dream away the days and count the lavish sunlight ample prize and deem your lust for power and human praise as senseless visions of a madman's eyes because we idle along sunny ways do we deserve the pity in your gaze because around our shores the warm waves roll and palm-fringed islands strew our southern seas because we know no isles twixt pole and pole one half so near to paradise as these because we scorn your toil 
and a miser's dole. We pray you, let no pity rend your soul. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Etiago in Guardia Vigi by Kenneth Rand. Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. Oh, I was born in Arcady when all the world was young where the wood thrush sings in his forest bowers loves may wither like fallen flowers and fade like sunset fantasy to die unwept unsung yet fields are rich in arcady where all the world is young oh I have lived in Arcady, and known the sun and rain, the glint of dawn on the dew-wet heather, tears and laughter of April weather, and lo, the woodland sorcery has called me home again, for loves are true in Arcady through years of sun and rain ah love the road to arcady is through the hills a dream follow away till the cypress alleys open to sunlit joyous valleys and learn again the magicry of dew and dawning gleam for hearts are young in Arcady, beyond the hills of dream. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Gypsy Song by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon dawn winds and a waxing sun eastern hills aglow soon the laggard shadows run to the vales below sheep bells from the waking fold tinkle merrily can ye fairer land behold than fair romany out beneath the open sky hark the gypsy song O oh, beloved, thou and I tarry here too long, burdenless and fancy free, take the wind for guide. What are kings to thee and me, striding side by side, out beyond the ends of earth, off in fairyland, lies our goal of little worth when today's at hand praise the sun god throned above o ye strollers gay and the goddess life and love showing ye the way careless slaves of sun and breeze wind flushed sunburnt browned this our house the friendly trees and the friendly ground who knows where our heads will lie in such merry weather sun and wind and thou and i arm in arm together end of poem this recording is in the public domain Sea Chanty by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon When the storm winds of heaven have slain the sun, And he dies in the bloody west, 
when the stars burn out and the day is done o'er the endless seas unrest listen o oh, listen the shadow cries to the blind sea reapers rise o oh, rise no longer sleep save us o oh lord when the reapers reap when the ships swing out on the ebbing tide to the harbor of missing wrecks and the wet sea devils from overside keep tryst on the reeling decks when the wind fiends howl in the houseless dark and the foam paved waterways lie stark o god of the deep save us thy slaves when the reapers reap end of poem this recording is in the public domain the city of dreadful dawn by kenneth rand read for librivox dot org by stephan von blon like paint upon a pallid cheek the nightmare city daubs its chilly gray with warm red rouge of morn and lo the day that shaking age shall fear that youth shall seek trails in its bannered pageantry of scorn mocking awhile in noonday pride and then veiling again neath curtained sunset skies the horrors cloaked and masked that laughing ride to grace the shambles of a paradise poor time fools bowed before an empty shrine with each the goddess died with each began hail lucifer haste gild with light divine the pale slaves of thy painted courtesan End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Victory Song of the Aegean Pirates by Kenneth Rand. Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. Swift as the seagull that turns in the sun with the dew of the spray on the gray of her wings flashing to whirl like an eddy of breeze that old aeolus checks in the flush of its flight so o oh beloved we harry the lumbering hulks of the clumsy flotilla that bring spices from egypt and pontus and persia and the rich woven silks from the borders of light rangers are we of the narrower sea where the islands are scattered as spindrift that flies roused from its coverts of beryl and emerald layers of the nymphs of the winds and the waves spindrift that leaping to scape from the prow that is notched to a star in the african skies winds o'er the gunwale and beats on the backs of the kings of the sweep head the bent galley slaves o oh, my beloved the oar thrush shall sing of my love and the kingdom i cast at thy feet lo i am lord of the rock-battered seas and my sword is a terror from thrace to cyrene king by the sway of the staggering deck as we reel through the wreck 
of the fight, and the fleet hails us the masters of Hades and heaven and the seas that are given to billow between. Swing her about, let them drown if they will, let them choke in their blood and the sense of their shame. They who are slaves of the Rome of the West, where the sun sinks to rest on Hesperian shores. Swing her about, let them die in the dark, where the wake is a wavering welter of flame. Drop them behind to the drone of the wind, and the dirge of the drum of our hurrying oars. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. My Friend Pan by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon With Pan amid the flowers When I was young and gay I danced away the hours with rhyme and round delay, for the world was at its spring, and life was at its morn. Who dreamed the years would bring when the rose died, the thorn? But when the summer faded, the summer time of youth, and weary worn and jaded i felt the thorn of truth i turned to pan a sign for solace of romance cried he come haste thy dying we youngsters want to dance end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Road to Romany by Kenneth Rand Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon And what is the worth of your fertile realm? Sang the wind to the weary king. And what is the price of your jeweled helm? Or the tribute the barons bring? Your palace I'll buy with the ruthless sky, for your gold I'll give you the sun, for your silken bed you may lay your head on the earth when the day is done. By the side of the road to Romany, the magic road to Romany, oh, I'll buy your crown for a wind swept down and a bit of the road to Romany. And what do I want with my sheltered fields? cried the king to the restless breeze. I'd give all the tribute my kingdom yields for a cure for my soul's disease. O oh, my throne, I'll trade for a leafy glade with the white road beckoning through, and my helm I'll pawn for a golden dawn, and the voice of a comrade true. We too on the road to Romany, the magic road to Romany, oh, I'd sell my crown for a wind swept down, and a bit of the road to Romany. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Song of the Optimist by Kenneth Rand. Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan von Blon. Though the vintage be poor, at the best, Drink it up, it is wine. So it kindled the heart 
for the rest you're a fool to repine. So you find in the dream and desire full reward for the sting and the tire. Though the price be the gold of the West, drink it up, it is wine. Oh, the maid is not fair at the most. What of that? It is love. Or perhaps you have loved and have lost. It is heaven above while it lasts, and for all of the pain, if you lived it all over again, though your honor and soul were the cost, would you stop if twere love? Have you wasted your fortune of years? Never mind, it is life. Have you harvested nothing but tears from the barons of strife? Have you failed and seen crumble the dream that you built with your blood where the gleam of the fading false dawn disappears? Think of this. It is life. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of The Dirge of the Sea Children and Other Poems by Kenneth Rand